In this video, we will be talking about using the SilkTide interface. When you log into SilkTide, you are greeted by the home screen. The home screen displays the websites that you have access to. If you have access to multiple websites, you may find it helpful to use the filter by tag box. Here we can see a tag for the design library. You also can find specific sites by using the search tool. Leaderboards can be built to show how multiple sites compare to one another, and can be customized to focus on different purposes. We are particularly interested in looking at how sites score in the WCAG 2.1 single A column and the WCAG 2.1 double A column. The leaderboard is a type of dashboard, and dashboards can be configured to display all kinds of useful information about your site. Now let's look at the tasks. The tasks shows a list of all available checks. The checks are the issues that require action or review. Checks can be assigned to individuals, can be filtered by specific categories, and be displayed according to a specific view. The views are pre-built roles defined by SilkTide that can group and curate the information. The available views are Editor, who will primarily see content-related issues, and Developer, who will see programming-related issues. The Manager view displays a larger overview, while the Everything view will display everything pertinent to the site. Under Resources, you can find the Silk Tide Academy. Here you can find two courses, each around 30 minutes in length, that feature Getting Started with Silk Tide, a course that shows the fundamentals of the platform, and an introduction to accessibility. Now let's take a look at Silk Tide in action using the WebSmart site as an example. Silk Tide offers a range of tools that can improve the quality and usability of your website, and the overview page outlines how your site is performing in key areas. It calculates performance scores for the quality of your content, the compliance with accessibility guidelines, the effectiveness of the website marketing, and rates the user experience. It also tells you how many pages have been tested in your site. The overview page also gives you a quick look at a list of the highest priority actions that need attention, and can filter those actions based on team roles to delegate responsibilities. Let's look into the accessibility section. The accessibility overview page shows you how your site compares against the three levels of compliance. Single A being the most basic level of web accessibility and the things a website must do to be accessible. Double A, which expands upon the single A requirements and shows what should be done to get to an acceptable standard. And Triple A, which are the things that a site can do to reach an optimal level of accessibility. UCD has the goal of achieving a 100% score for single A and double A, which is what is required by the EU policy to be compliant. The overview also shows the most common issues found on your site, divided into categories. It details the average issues per page. It also breaks down the issues related to particular senses to understand how users with certain disabilities might struggle and it also shows the progress you are making over time towards the WCAG compliance. Let's take a look at the Checks page, which can give us access to one of SilkTide's most powerful tools, the Inspector. The checks can be organized by the type of issue, or by individual pages. When you've selected one to work on, Click the magnifying glass icon, and the inspector will open. Here we can see the specific check that was chosen. SilkTide can highlight the issue on the page. It can also show you if there are multiple instances of that type of issue. The inspector also allows you to view all pages in a mobile view. And finally, 
It can also highlight the specific lines of code that need to be fixed and show you instructions and suggestions on how you can make those improvements.